Next, we're going to figure out the surface area for this pyramid. It's a square pyramid, which means that the bottom here is a square. And here is its net. Again, if I drew this on paper and cut it out and folded it, I would get the pyramid. You can see the bottom square here. And then these triangles. And to calculate the surface area, I'll first calculate the area of this square, then the area of one of these triangles, and take that times 4, and then add all of those together. So the bottom, that's easy. It's a square. 10 centimeters times 10 centimeters gives us 100. And the unit is square centimeters. And then one triangle, one of the triangles. OK, now you need to remember the area of a triangle. You need to take the base times height divided by 2. OK? For this triangle, I will use this as a base and this as the height or the altitude, right? So it's 10 times 10 divided by 2. Right? That's 100 divided by 2. It's 50. 50 square centimeters. And then the total surface area is that area of the bottom. And we add 4 times the area of one triangle. So here's 200 and 100 makes a total of 300 square centimeters. The volume of a cube is 125 cubic centimeters. Notice it gives us the volume, OK? What is its surface area? OK, if you don't know how to start, maybe you want to draw a little picture. Let's draw or sketch here a cube. Maybe that will help us. There. What do we know and what do we not know? We know the volume of the cube. The volume of this is 125 cubic centimeters. And what we don't know, but we would like to know, is how long is this, the edge of the cube, OK? So let me mark it with an unknown. We want to know that. Now, we know the volume. And to calculate the volume, you would multiply this times this times this, right? And all of those are the same number. So we actually get an equation, x times x times x. This raised dot signifies multiplication, is the volume, 125 cubic centimeters. Now, to solve this equation, just guess and check. What number can go here? OK, let's write 2. 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. Nope. 4 times 4 times 4 would be 16 times 4. 64, not quite. 5 times 5 times 5. 25 times 5. That works. So x equals 5 centimeters. That's the edge length for this cube. And now we can figure out the surface area. Again, for a cube, I actually have six identical faces here, right? So the surface area will be six times the area of one of those faces. I'm going to change this. Let's put the raised dot here this time, six times. And the area of one of these, OK, it's five centimeters now here, five centimeters times five centimeters. That's 25 square centimeters, right? And so we get 150 square centimeters for the surface area. OK, well done with this lesson.